Hi, Vienna. So we've come to the last set of essays in this package. So great. Let's see what you've done here. Okay, the first one is the map. So these two diagrams illustrate the changes of an island before and after redevelopment in the future. Okay, I don't really understand that. Uh, it says before and after. So I didn't really understand this section here. These two diagrams illustrate the changes of an island before and after development. That's it. Okay, uh, that would have made sense. And then what have you got here? Before that, this island only has natural landscape with a beach along its west sea coast and a scanty amount of trees at the northwest, middle, and northeast parts of the island. Okay, I like the second part of this. I don't love the first part. First of all, before that doesn't really make sense. You could have said before development, or you could have said in the before image, that also would have been okay. This island only had, because you can kind of assume that's in the past, uh, a natural landscape with a beach along its west coast. I wouldn't have said west sea coast. I would have just said a west coast. And a scanty amount of trees in the northwest, middle, and northeast parts of the island. Oh, wait. And a scanty amount of trees in. Yes, that would have been fine. Um, another thing that you could have done here that a lot of people neglect doing is you could have referred to this scale. A lot of people um, neglect to do this. And my attitude is, is that if it's there and they've gone to this trouble of, of doing this, then you probably want to use it, okay? All right, let's see. Now, you can't really say it's future. It's not really clear, is it? It says after, so maybe before development and after development and maybe the development is already in the past so we just don't know so what you could have said which would have been a more of a catch-all is in the after image okay firstly resid mm, okay you need an article a residential area will be developed over the west side of the island with the original trees removed secondly a new hospital will be built at the east of the houses and a pier will be added at the south of the hospital 100 meters away get rid of the width i don't know where you saw hospital i saw all i really did was just enlarge the image i believe this is a mall this is a hotel if i'm not mistaken this is a restaurant i mean just kind of hold on it's not too tricky let me see what it says i thought it said hotel Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I thought it did. This one definitely says ma, though. That's easy. All right. In any case, um, okay. Yeah, so I don't know why you said hospital. Uh, a new building, you could have just said. Uh, okay. Furthermore, there will be a restaurant and a hotel at the now to the northeast and southeast of the hospital respectively in addition roads for vehicles will be constructed around the hospital and they will also connect the hospital to all the facilities around it now one thing i don't like is maybe it's because i've pointed out hospital and i'm not really convinced one of these buildings is a hospital but it's the use of that word over and over again look hospital 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 so my question to you is could you have used any pronouns or any other cohesive devices that would have made use of this word less repetitive and also would have sounded a little more, well, cohesive. So let's see. A pier will be added at the south. No, a pier will be added to the south. Maybe you don't even have to talk about hospital. How about a pier will be added at the southern coast of the island so that boats can uh dock and depart there okay let's see furthermore there will be a restaurant and a hotel uh northeast and southeast you keep referring to the hospital but i'm wondering maybe you could have just talked about i don't even know is this a hospital i have no idea 
maybe you could have referenced something else. You could have just talked about the central part of the island and that to the north part of the central area, there's going to be a restaurant. In the south part of the central area, there's going to be this building, which I think is a hotel. And then you could have said that central, centrally located is the mall. So, I mean, rather than, you know, this way at least, you don't have to keep saying hospital, hospital. All right, let's see. On the east side of the island, a second cluster of accommodation, okay, spelling, will replace the trees and will be aligned circularly, comma, each with a small footpath linking to a central roundish, roundish sounds a little informal. How about a round pathway? That's it. Lastly, a lake will be added along the east sea coast and the beach along the west sea coast will remain the same. Okay, fine. Let's see. Overall, the new development of this island will include many new facilities, such as two housing estates, a hospital, a hotel, a re restaurant and a hotel, transportation with roads, footpaths, and a pier will be constructed to improve the traffic on the island. Okay, fine. So, Vienna, a lot of this is good. You covered all the main points. Um, there was just some little things, especially in the beginning, that I would have liked to see a little different. Um, on the whole, I thought it was okay. Like I said, I think it's important to make use of this scale, so you could have talked about that there. Um, some of the language here was a little murky, but, you know, most of it was good. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're fine. Why don't we move on to your task two, okay? So this is about green energy. Is threat to energy security or good for the environment and our pockets? Let's see. There is a recent debate on whether renewable energy can replace the non-renewable energy in the world as green energy is more cost-effective and eco-friendly while others think it is not safe to solely depend on renewable energy to produce enough power for the whole world. All right, long. I got lost somewhere in that second line. And so you want to avoid that. That's why we recommend really just, you know, con not even necessarily condensing, but breaking up these sentences. Number one, when you write long sentences, you run a higher risk of making mistakes. Number two, they become hard to read, basically. So it's really hard to do these long sentences successfully. Let's see. There is a recent debate on whether renewable energy can replace the non-renewable energy in the world as green energy is more cost-effective and eco-friendly. Full stop. However, others think it is not safe to solely depend on renewable energy to produce enough power for the whole world. Okay, better. In my opinion, both types of energy are important nowadays and should be used at the same time. This essay will discuss both views using a study by Harvard University and research by United Nations as examples to demonstrate points of arguments. Okay. It's not safe to depend on, and then it's cost effective. All right, so you believe they both should be used. Let's see what you said about that. On the one hand, there is ample evidence that green energy is more sustainable and costs us less to produce. This is larger because most of this energy comes from nature, such as hydroelectricity from water flow, solar energy from natural sunlight, and wind power from the, here, the movement of wind turbines. Obviously, generation of this energy can be long lasting and cheap without limitation by the amount of consumable materials like coals or gas. Okay, so here I've got a problem with this sentence. Up to here, I thought you were fine, and then this sentence, was a little uh, problematic. So let's talk about why. You said it's sustainable and costs less. Great. You said it's because it comes from nature. Well, guess what? So does oil. So does gas. It's also a natural, they're natural resources. So why does the fact that it comes from water, solar energy, etc., why does that make it more sustainable and less costly? You never told us anything about that. And what you did instead is you said, obviously, it can be long lasting. Well, why? Why can it be long lasting and why can it be cheap? Okay, so it's like you're assuming things without explaining to us why you've assumed them. Okay, uh, let's see. 
and cheap without limitation by the amount. This confused me, this whole thing about without limitation by the amount of consumable materials. That whole phrase just kind of confused me. I didn't understand it, so it needs to be reworked. Furthermore, as renewable energy does not cause any hazardous substances or pollutants to our environment, no further procedure will be required to dispose of, you dispose of something, any residual materials, and so it can reduce the cost of energy production and do less harm to our ecosystem. All right, the sentence is a little long. Again, you went into like four lines, so you wanna be careful with that kind of a sentence. So what could you do to something like this? Furthermore, as renewable energy does not cause any hazardous substances or pollutants to our environment, no further procedures will be required to dispose of uh, any residual materials. Full stop. Um, this will result in less harm to our ecosystem, okay? Uh, while also costing less uh, because of fewer procedures required or something like that. So do you see, I took this and I, I split it up into sentences that were more manageable, okay? So for example, an empirical study by Harvard University showed that countries using mainly green energy can reduce the cost of power generation by 30% and billions of dollars can be saved uh, by omitting the disposal of waste materials from dirty energy. Therefore, it is conclusively clear that green, clean energy is cost-effective and beneficial to our environment. Okay, fine, all right. So, oh, okay, let's see. All right, fine. Uh, on the other hand, some people argue that it is not secure to rely solely on green energy as the main source of power. The reason behind, hmm, the reason behind that is supply of this energy may be unstable and cannot be controlled by humans. S. Men cannot make sunlight or wind at specific locations. And so it is not possible to ensure there will always be enough power generation and uh, adjust according to the demand in different seasons. I don't know what happened here with your grammar, Vienna. <sighs> Let's try it again. It is not possible to ensure there will always be enough power generation. Not, I don't know where this adjusts according to demand. I, I don't understand how it links where it's supposed to be connected to. So this is problematic for me, this whole second half of the sentence. For instance, extensive research by the United Nations found that energy requirements, S, usually rise dramatically in winter, over 50% of countries in the world, and renewable energy can only meet half of the increase in demand. Thus, it is possible to state beyond doubt that clean energy may not be enough to support the power needs all the time. And then probably no the, so power needs would be much better here. Okay, uh, fine. So to conclude from the examples and arguments given, I believe that both renewable and non-renewable energy are essential to us at this moment in time. It is predicted that more research will be done to enhance its ability and increase the efficiency of green energy in the future. Okay, so Vienna, there was a lot of good stuff happening in this uh, essay. There was a lot I liked. There were some little things throughout, um, as I pointed out in my comments. Uh, things about grammar, for sure. Uh, and then making sure that your ideas kind of flowed in a logical way, really taking them point A, point B, point C, okay? And also making sure that your sentences are more manageable. So try to avoid these sentences that just go on and on for a very long time because it's easier to make a mistake with these long sentences, but even when they're accurate, they're, they become difficult to follow. Okay, and so you want to be careful with that. So those are my suggestions to you. Uh, all right, so we've come to the end of your essay corrections. You've been doing really great, and so I want to congratulate you. Um, I don't remember if you've mentioned to us when your exam is. If you've got even as little as a few days, I want to recommend to you to sign up for some more essay correction packages. Uh, you'll get a link in the email with your essay telling you how you can continue to work with us. 
So if you would like to get more feedback, if you'd like to continue in this manner and write more essays for us so we can help you improve and tweak some of these areas that need some tweaking, then definitely by all means sign up for that. I'd love to continue working with you, okay? So uh, congratulations on getting this far. I want to wish you lots of good luck, and I hope to see more of your work soon. Good luck to you.